Yeah, got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. How y'all like my new Halloween shirt? It says Merry Christmas on it. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to talk about these substitute teachers. They just happen to be. I remember when that non binary uh, persuasion. Well, whenever I looked at a substitute teacher, it's always a red flag for me ever since I was a kid. I knew something was off with them. That's why they're not real teachers. <laughs> A substitute teacher? I mean, it was always something off about them. Yeah, but these substitute teacher, teachers are non-binary. Why is it when you see all these non-binary, these, they're always in elementary schools? I don't know. I think that's. I think that's. Uh, I think they should be banned from elementary schools. If they're gonna teach anywhere, it should be a do. It, you know what? They shouldn't even be in a high school. You know those kids. They, they, gotta, this is in a elementary school. school. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. They shouldn't be allowed around kids. Um, you know how they kick these kids out of school and put them in these continuation schools? Yeah. They get the high school diploma and GED, yeah. they can teach over there. <laughs> but public schools and, nah. Yeah. Go teach at a continuation school with them badass kids. Yeah, them, they, them kids going to check your ass. They, they going to they gonna, they gonna tell you what your gender is <laughs> real quick. The yeah. kids, they ain't going to put over that shit. <laughs> Let me pull up this article. I mean, both of these are substitute teachers. Substitute teacher couple busted for prostitution to make extra money or they'll starve after cops pull off undercover operation. Wait a minute. That's crazy right there. Is that really freedom, though, Keith, to be honest? Huh? I mean, we believe in freedom, right? What are you talking about? I mean, if, if it, I can't sell my mushroom tip to make money, make ends, it, to make ends that's meet, that's not freedom. That's oppression. This is my body. I get to do whatever I want with my body. Hey, my body, my choice. Okay, okay, hold up. If a woman comes up to me and says, look, I said, I'm not interested. She said, look, I'll give you $250. I'm like, hold up. Make it three fifty. dollars got a deal. What? 300 for what? For sexual favors. I mean, and then that chick turns out to be a cop. Yeah. I go to jail? That's entrapment. I would think. But you know what? What's the distinction, Keith? What's the difference between pornography and prostitution? It's no difference. What's the difference? <laughs> You're getting paid for sex? You're doing sexual favors? If porn is... It's legal, well, and it's covered under freedom of speech. Why ain't pro well, prostitution? It's because um, keep your religion out of it, huh? Keep your religion. No, we out don't of live on a theocracy. I understand. Yeah. What you're saying. I think if you should, if you can, uh, personally, you know what? I'm gonna say it personally. If it's consenting adults, yeah, it's not gonna affect me. I think they should regulate it. You should have a they license. Regulate and you got to be checked every like six months. Make sure you ain't no disease spread and whore spreading AIDS and syphilis yeah. and monkeypox. You and should all this go. Stuff. You have to get you get tested every every quarter. Yeah, you, it should be regulated. Yeah, just yeah, like any other profession. Yeah, but I see what you're saying. I mean, this is this is 2023, man. They taking up jail cells that was meant for violent criminals. All they doing is sucking tip. Hand jobs. Hand job. Some back door action. Some reach arounds. <laughs> why's I why why why's our, our taxes? I don't care what people do in their bedroom or what they do for I don't care what consistent adults do. Yeah, I don't care. It's just stupid. Even if you if you're a non binary. I don't care. I'll just go to the article. I mean, just oh, looking at that dude that that, with that beard, he just triggers the hell out of me. Yeah, he need to go to jail. That Yeah, that's triggering right there. Look at the little blonde highlights he got going. Oh, oh man, that really, that just puts me in a bad spot. Those glasses? You know what really sets me off? What? That damn nose ring. That would put me over the edge. <laughs> I could put it with the blonde highlights. 
Hell, I can put up with that beard. But that damn nose ring, I said, you're doing too much. <laughs> I don't really give a damn. The girl looked like she had some promise. In, she had some promise. Pull them back up. She got that it. is a girl, right? That's a girl. She, I can obviously see the, the dude on the right. Hold up. What's those that's black, a dude on the right. What's that black stuff on the side of her face? Oh, man, that's stubble. Is that uh, stubble? That's a damn dude, man. No, man, that ain't no dude. You can see it on the chin. You can see it on the face. Oh, hell no. I don't like being tricked. Throw them both in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the article. Maybe maybe she's a girl. Two, uh, go back up. Oh, two Tennessee elementary substitute teachers who are also a couple were cited for prostitution after police completed an undercover operation with one saying they did it for extra money for several years or they, they'd starve. Yeah, I believe it. Substitute teacher. Ezra. Ezra Fry, 22, and David Acevedo, 25. Ezra Fry, that, that's the, one of them gender neutral names. Wait a minute, they said this. Ezra Fry? That could go both ways. Yeah. That's a bisexual name. Yeah. That's no. a joke. You didn't get it? Yeah, I got it. Why didn't you laugh at it? <laughs> Ezra Fry, 22, and David Acevedo, 25, who both work in Hamilton County Schools, were caught in August. Police began the under. The undercover sting when one officer reached out to Fry on an illicit prostitution website posing as a John looking to set up a sexual encounter. Oh, come on, man. He sets up his own website. Cops go to the website and makes an appointment, and they go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> well. They ain't bothering nobody. Leave them homos alone. This is not a free country. Come on, man. Y'all could be out there investigating murders. All that dude doing is sucking tips, doing that reach round action. Come on, man. Police officers should be doing. Got all these drugs on the street. Yeah. They, in there, in, they just in there busting nuts. You going to jail. Man, come on, man. That's just stupid, man. Let me keep reading. I'm you got to... people out there committing crimes, breaking the law, robbing banks, <laughs> hurting people hurting people and y'all arresting people for creating a website because they want to suck a few tips to make ends meet. <laughs> hey, I want to read this article. See if he's I mean, our tax, pay, our tax dollars could go a lot further yeah, if hey, they, hey, if Kelvin. they shut up, if these people get their head out of their asses, money going to Ukraine, money going to Israel. Now we got police officers. We funding police officers taking down websites because dudes want to suck somebody off. That don't make that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Yeah, let me read the article. I'm gonna see if this is a girl or a guy, man. No wonder, no wonder we got all these crime out here on the streets. Hey, Kelly, let me read the damn website. We got cops out there busting busting down people's doors for trying to stroke somebody <laughs> off. <laughs> let me read the article. It's it, man. It's a... During the exchange, Fry allegedly told the undercover cop they usually go to the client's house, but insisted it was safer to do it at their home because their husband would be present and it was the John's first time. Now the husband will sit back and watch. <laughs> hey, don't worry about me. I'm going to be off here in the corner. You ain't going to even know I'm here. <laughs> Just going to squeeze off a couple. <laughs> hey, you can read. Wait a minute, what happened? They went to the John's house. Yeah. No, they went to the um the two non-binary's house. No, no, no. If it's a cop, they went to the cop's house and they busted them Well, out. let me read it again. That's... During the exchange, Fry allegedly told the undercover cop they usually go to the client's house, but insisted it was safer to do it at their home because their husband would be present and it was the John's first time. Yeah, you see? So the dude... It's the John's us... first time the husband's going to be there. Yeah, at their house, though. Your reading comprehension sucks. Every time I look at like 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 cops, you know how they bust the prostitutes? It's always the cops. They come in and they have the cameras going. They got yeah, the yeah, undercover yeah. cop. Yeah. I've never seen a cop <laughs> go, go to, to somebody else's house. <laughs> <laughs> and then a bunch of cops just run up in there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, they have the, the cop, they be the female cop. They have like a hotel. Yeah, it'd be a female and cop. And it'd be though. a female cop. Yeah. And they have some cops in the back. Yeah. They'd make the transit, cops come out of the back arrested. Yeah. I've never seen an undercover sting where they go to the John's house. Yeah. 
I mean, you go to the prostitute's house, the, the cop yeah. go in the prostitute's house, yeah. right? And then you're, you're under arrest, and then cops busting out. I've never seen it go down like that. I thought you were safe. Maybe these people, these cops are homophobic or something. You know, there's still a lot of that going around. You saying they went the extra mile to get them because they yeah. a bunch of homos. Man. Homos got it tough in this country. Let me keep reading. That don't make sense, though. Fry Read again. again. Shut up. Read again. Hey, Kim, what's wrong with you? During the exchange, Fry... Shut up, I'm reading it. During the exchange, Fry allegedly told the undercover cop they usually go to the client's house. Yeah, but client's instead, house. But instead, it was... But instead, but insisted... Hold up. <laughs> they usually go to the client's house, but insisted it was safer to do it at their home because their husband would be present, and it was the John's first time. Fry then led the officer to a back bedroom and took his money before the cop identified himself and detained the couple. Fry and Acevedo both made statements during and after the search to include both stating that they have to do this or they will starve, according to the report. What did they arrest the husband for? Well, maybe he you know tried to squeeze one off. But, um, hey, so that was a guy. You want to get sucked off by a dude. Both of them. Hold on, Mr. For well, that stubble on the face don't lie, Keith. Well, it's you a homosexual. No, man, that's a girl, Kim. Look, that's a girl. You don't man. see all that damn. She got a that's, damn five o'clock shadow. That's a uh, that's like a bad lighting. Or oh, something. scan in on it. Get some scan in. Keep scanning. A little bit closer. What the hell's going on, man? What is that? Is that some black? St- is that some moles or something? As far as it go, man. That might be monkeypox. Man. No, that's a girl, Kim. That's a girl, you think so? Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting an erection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheap ass refrigerator. Y'all broke as hell in that house. <laughs> <laughs> that damn little small refrigerator. That shit don't supposed to go in your kitchen. That's supposed to go in your den. <laughs> hey, um, let me see. That's a girl. That's a girl. Look like a girl. Look like a girl. You know, guys. I mean, like, I've dated girls that look like that. Yeah. I mean, she ain't got that hard looking face. Let me see them legs. Thick got, too, man. Got them thick legs on them. I like girl wear boots like that. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, is it? No, man. I Uh-oh. think that's a dude, man. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a dude. That's a dude. We some homosexuals. <laughs> I told you, man. Was there any more to read? Huh? That was it, huh? That's a dude. What's that right there? Uh, both parents advise officers that they are special education teachers at Woodmore Elementary and Calvin Donaldson Elementary. They not only teach they special education teachers. They shouldn't be teaching kids, man, period. Well, if they can, um, during an encounter with an officer, Frost stated, I don't care, everyone has seen my private parts, the report added. Police also discovered a large amount of drug paraphernalia and a twenty two caliber rifle after searching the home. What's wrong yeah. having a rifle? Ain't nothing wrong with second amendment. Well, you can't have a rifle if you got drug paraphernalia. Uh, Fry and Acevedo received several misdemeanor citations, including for unlawful drug paraphernalia, prostitution or promoting prostitution, and unlawful possession of a firearm. Oh, we didn't have a, we didn't supposed to have it. Fry, who is employed by the Education Management and Staffing Solutions, a company that sends staff to school districts, has not worked in Hamilton County since August. A spokesperson for the school district told WTBC. Well, I mean, I'll go back up. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, that That's, um, I think that's a dude. Tell by that chin. I can tell by them black spots in his face. Damn stubble growing out. That's how I can tell. Stubble, man. Look at the one with the highlights. Look at him. What a sissy. (laughs) (laughs) I definitely know who's the bottom. (laughs) Hey, uh, I'm done reading that. I mean, but that's a lot of these teachers, man, that's, um, the teaching elementary and non-binary, and it's like it seems like I they just hire anybody to be an elementary school teacher. Anybody. I'm thinking it's a shortage, a shortage of teachers. Yeah, it's got to be a shortage. I'm sure you can find somebody better qualified. 
Somebody that doesn't know what the gender is and they're going by a, a, yeah. a radical French ideology, well, they Kevin, shouldn't be nowhere near kids. Well, teaching them. Now, glory holes, that's different. Hmm. Prostitution, hey, hey you're an adult. Maybe they, maybe it's easier to become a um, preschool and elementary school teacher than it is as you get older. Because at those days, you don't need to know nothing. I think it should be harder. Yeah, these kids, kids, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you All get, you're teaching is ABCs. Yeah, but I think it should be more difficult for you to be a teacher at preschool. Yeah. Because, you know, as you get older, kids are more self-aware. They'll be able to protect themselves. Yeah. But kids, you know, they dumb as a box of rocks. They can get away with a... Not literally, I'm not saying kids are dumb, it's just they're ignorant. Yeah. Shouldn't have said that. Yeah, they're not dumb, they're ignorant. Yeah. Adults are ignorant. So I got kids. And uh, they're pretty, uh, oh, they're bright. Kids are bright. Just ignorant. Yeah. They got a new giveaway going. Ford Bronco. It's a show Bronco. It was in a, a truck show out here in Vegas. 35,000 hey, Can we end that a little better? <laughs> I was good as gonna get that. <laughs> and when you enter to win the truck, you also enter to win ten thousand in cold hard white American cash. Then enter to win, go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I threw a damn neck out. <laughs>